Welcome to our tutorial about expressions and math operators. First, let's look at some examples of operators. Math operators look pretty much the same as conventional math symbols that you're definitely used to. The plus sign adds two values. The minus sign subtracts the second value from the first. An asterisk multiplies two values. A forward slash divides the first value by the second value. The caret symbol raises the first value to the power of the second value. Let's take a look at some examples. First, we've defined our variables int a and int b as integers. Next, as our second step, we've assigned int a a value of 10. Now we assign the sum of int a and 5 to int b. Visual Basic performs math operations first, after it assigns the resulting value to the variable. As a result, int b will end up with a value of 15, the sum of int a plus 5. Let's go to my second example. Here, the first variable, int a, is assigned a value of 5. Int b is assigned the value of 10 raised to the power of int a. As a last step, the result of the calculation is stored as the value of int b. My third example, integers a, b, and c are assigned the values of 10, 5, and 2, respectively. To determine the value of integer z, we multiply the values of integer a and b, then subtract the value stored in integer c. As a last step, the value is stored in integer z. This value will be displayed in the text box txt box. Let's check how it works. When I press OK, we've got the resulting correct value of 48. Let's make some changes. Let me encircle the last calculation within parentheses. Visual Basic, as you may know from your basic math classes, will perform the subtraction calculation and then multiply this by the value stored in integer A. Let's run our program. As a result, we end up with 30. The last operator, the amper symbol, concatenates two strings. Concatenate means to tie together. This symbol basically merges two strings together. For example, here my user enters values in text box A and text box B. By using the concatenate operator, I join these two strings together. The resulting value is then passed to the text property of the text box results. Let's run our program. Enter name, and then L name for last name, and press OK. Now they are joined, name and L name, but there isn't a space in between the two of them. If we want to program a space in there, we need to add one more string that holds the space. Let's try it again. OK. And we re-enter our data name and L name. Press OK, and we have a better result. And this concludes our tutorial about expressions and math operators.